think we're live. Are we live? We might be live. We might not be live. We might all be dead. Existentialism in progress. Good morning, YouTube. I think I'm live. Good morning. It is... Oh, it is time to pull my trousers up. It is Sunday, the 9th of June, 2019. And um, I've been to the car view so I'm talking to myself as usual because I'm in yet. Good morning, Josh. Josh has just arrived to join me to save me from the insanity of talking to myself. Uh, yeah, how the devil are you, Josh? Are you well? Good morning, Lil and Alf, Jason and Laurel. Um, are you all well? Are you all? I hope you are all more well over than what is not well. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Chloe and Andrew and Rebecca and Nia and Richard. I is I is a poorly bean. I have a stinking cold in my head. Good morning, Andrew and Claire. Um, disclaimer. If you are a person who cannot cope with people being full of snot and blowing their nose live on air, today's stream, not for you. Disclaimer right there up front. If, if you're phobic about people blowing their nose, pop off and watch Caroline's that she's just uploaded instead. Bear with me. Do you think you could not empty the bin out? Thank you all. <sighs> Dogs. Good morning, Paul and Lucy. I did. I watched your cooking video very shortly after it went up. I'm very much Andrew. Is Andrew aware that it's up? Has Andrew seen it since I saw it? Andrew, if you're, if you're not aware, then your cooking video is up. I'm looking forward to your response. Good morning, uh, Mandy, Mandy Michelle and Kirsten and my favourite Sue and Joan Morris. Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> It catches me very suddenly, so I will apologise in advance. It's probably going to be quite a lie. Catch my breath and go into a coffin fit and can't help myself. Okay, good morning, Paul and Lou. Or Lou, Paul or Paul or Lou, whichever, one or both. Okay, so Andrew has seen he's got to order a whisk because he doesn't have one. <laughs> okay, so yes, I have a terrible cold. <laughs> And when I blow my nose, I sound like Thomas the Tank and you go through a tunnel. If you are a person who cannot cope with nose blowing, I apologise. You probably need to go and watch something else. Oh, dear. I think I'm not, Mandy says, I've been about as lucky as her with these, all these calls. I think I'm not properly getting over one before the other, before the next one's laying me flat. And I don't take enough vitamins. Shazad sent me the vitamins and I took them for the first week and then I forgot because they're in a drawer. So I need to get back to the drawer and keep on taking them. Because no point Shazad sending me vitamins to make me healthy if I don't take them, is it? Really? Oh, so I hope you are all well aware than I am. <laughs> Andrew says cold equals Ebola. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> <coughs> Kirsten says I need that thing that nobody can pronounce. Echinacea. Echinacea. That stuff. And Lil Nav says I need some Olbers oil on a tissue. I don't like Olbers oil and I'm a big kid when I get when it comes to being ill. Morning, Laura. Friday I stayed in bed all day. Friday I just didn't get up. I would have stayed in bed forever, but we had tickets to see Rod Gilbert in Cardiff on Friday night. And I've been looking forward to it for eight months. And genuinely during the day, I considered that I wasn't well enough to go and considered going to Tammy. Could she find someone else who wanted to go on my ticket? Because the idea of dragging myself out was unthinkable. But I forced myself to go, dosed myself up with ActiveFed so that I wouldn't be coughing and spluttering next to some other poor bugger all night and ruining their night. Said to Tammy on the way there, you know, if it, if it gets too bad, I'll just have to come outside because I don't want to spoil somebody else's gig by sitting there being there all over them, you know. Um, but as it happens, I was OK and I really enjoyed it. So I was glad I went. Um, Josh says it's Cardiff flu. It is definitely Welsh flu. Lex gave it to me. Lex was here, as you know, last weekend. She went home and decided she had a cold when she got home. And funnily enough, two days after that, I had one too. So it's definitely Lex's fault. Also, she nagged me to go live this morning. Now she's not here watching. So that's rude, isn't it? Rude. I've got the driest lips in the world and a really dry nose here for blowing it all the time. I'm so sorry for myself. You don't need to be sorry for me because I'm sorry enough for myself, for everybody. I went to the car boot cell. Slightly overreached my abilities at the car boot cell this morning. I got about halfway down the first time and I was like, I'm not well enough for this. My legs were like wobbly and and, and it was a wet, like a dewy morning. So there's nowhere I could sit down. I was like, I can't even sit, if I sit down on the grass, I'm going to wet bum. So I staggered on. I went to the toilet at the car boot at Trench Lane. Josh, Josh will know this. The toilets are 
a million miles from the site of the boots. I actually put it on my Instagram stories this morning. There have been documentaries made by Michael Palin about journeys that are shorter than the trip to this toilet, honestly. So by the time I staggered off there and back, I put an extra 70 miles on the clock. But, um, but yeah, I made, it, I made it all the way around and I got some stuff. I didn't go to the second one. Couldn't be able to go to Easter Compton this morning. Um, Heather, Heather's joined us. Hi, Heather. Um, Sue says, I'm not sure which is going to fail first. My phone battery or my body might have to go and snooze. Nap time. Morning, Andrea. Yeah, Josh says you need a hiking bag to get to the toilet. Exactly, you need a tent set up. On. I did consider saying something because there's a guy who rolls around on a quad, quad bike, you know, one of the organisers, and I considered saying to him, have you thought of <coughs> offering people lifts to the loop of 50p? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I would have paid an extra 50p to get to the loop. I may have to cut this short if I can't stop coughing. <coughs> because it hurts. Oh, bear with. I might cry. Live on air. Might we? I'm shit at being ill. Proper rubbish at it. I've got no, no will to live. No will to survive. <sighs> oh, Josh says at least you can't smell them like you can the Eastern Conference ones. Maybe that's why they're so far away. Yes, Heather, I'm dying. Send, um... Send a new nose and lungs, I think, is probably the best thing. Okay. However, I did get some purchases. I bought myself. Well, I don't know whether I bought them for myself or not. <coughs> I bought the Harry Potter box set. I paid eight for this. <coughs> cough sweet. Will I be able to talk round a cough sweet, do we think? They're too far away. I'll just die. Um, morning, Carrie. Eight. The the young lady wanted ten. I offered a seven. We settled on eight. It's got a slight split on the corner here. Just there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just about, I think. But books two to seven are completely unread. Book one is the only one that has any spine creases. These are untouched. She said I didn't read the rest. <coughs> now I have, obviously, hi Lex. Lex, did you break in, love? Um, you did make me ill, Lex. This is all your fault. Um, obviously, I have a full set of Harry Potter books already because I'm a human being. But mine are all mismatched old ones, and I'm wondering whether to sell my old ones and keep this nice set for me or whether to sell this nice set. There's only about 20 to 25 quid in them. So for that, I could just sell the old ones, really. I don't know. Can somebody um, can somebody point out to zero zero that I'm over eighteen? Look at my fucking face. <sighs> Morning, Christine. Yeah, Heather says I think sell the old ones. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Keep the nice new ones for me. Kristen says bloke at the car boot pissed me off this morning. Claimed some glassware was worth X amount of money on eBay. He'd get double the money at Sussex, but only bought the tap to Dorset. Nice. Only bring the tap to Dorset. Don't bother coming at all, mate. <laughs> Now, these are Lex's fault, and because they're Lex's fault, I'm going to give them to Lex next time I see her. So I bought them on the, if it's bloody horrible, <laughs> Steve says, apparently you're dying on the internet, so here I am. Cheers, Steve. Just come along to witness my death. You've missed me coughing myself into an early grave, but I probably will start again in a minute. Uh, um, yeah, I'll get the same back in that set. Takes less space. Good point. Shell says nice ears. I think they're my usual earrings, Shell. I haven't changed them. They might just be showing more because I've got my um, hair up more. Don't know. Uh, yes, yeah, so. Pair of locks are good for coughs. I've got a drumstick lolly. Does that count? Hi, Roman. Um, yeah, so these are these are Lex's fault. These green Saddler jugs. I bought them because they're bloody horrible. Aren't they? Aren't they, aren't they the ugliest things? Um, Lex says that if they're Saddler... They're not her fault. She says that's Steve's fault because he's the one who buys Saddler pottery. But I'm not blaming Steve because I didn't buy them because they were Saddler. I bought them because they were hideous and hideous things are always Lex. Lex isn't a hideous thing, but Lex is my reason. So what I'm going to do is give them to Lex and then they're her problem because they're bloody hot, but they were 50p each. But aren't they ugly? And they're chipped. And Lex will probably keep things in them like, I don't know, victim's brains or something. I don't know. So yeah, they'll sit there now. 
<coughs> until Lexi visits again, and then I'll send them home with her and she'll smash them all. Oh, Josh likes them. Maybe I'll give one to Josh. Heather says they look like Vom. Not good point. See, Heather knows. And Laura says nice jugs. Thank you very much. Steve says Lexi is a hideous thing. <laughs> oh, dear. So, um, yeah, so 50p each for the horrible jugs. Eight quid for the Harry Potters. Two pound each for these two. These are Anne Summers. I do quite well with Anne Summers clothing. Um, I worked for Anne Summers for 10 years, which means I recognise the stuff at 20 paces. So these are the Anne Summers um, corset tops. This one's brand new with its tags. They're called Crystal Couture, this range. Uh, they were very, very popular when they were in the catalogue. They smell a little bit of storage, but they're not too bad. The lady says this one wasn't worn, only tried on, but she took the tags off. Always silly when people do that. And this one is brand new with its tags. So for £2 each, I should easily be able to turn those into 15 quid each, I should imagine. And I would look a Bobby Dazzler in them, but I'd have to wear them both at once and something else on the back. Uh, Bobby says I can't bring myself to list hideous things. They sit in the cupboard until I take them back. Exactly. I don't know why I bought them. Good morning, the monocle. Heather says, oh, thank goodness, the smell of storage. <laughs> Nothing else. Sue says, our get up at five o'clock was absolutely shocking. The could have stayed till eight bit booty was great. Oh, great. Got, you've got a Sylvania Hotel. Well done, Sue. How much did you pay for that? Yes, I know they're on Summer's Day. I used to work there. I know. You don't know clothes. Oh, I don't, I don't, you are the expert on bras. I forget about that. Steve knows bras. Is my, are my lips out of sync with the sound? It looks like it might be on my screen. It's tough if it is. You have to put up with it. I don't know what to do about it, so I can't change it. Uh, one pound each for these two swimming arrangements. <laughs> Steve has the full hand summers collection. Okay, it's just on my screen that I look a bit odd then, yeah? Generally. So, um, this one is Tankini. The only drawback to this one is there are no shoulder straps. The shoulder straps are missing. But meh for a pound it's a large size so it's uh it was worth grabbing anyway it's a size 20. bless there was a lady at the car boot and i i bought um one item off of her and she said <coughs> what web i've got a papa luke really cheap 10 quid webcam steve <coughs> excuse me here we go again <coughs> sorry Okay. Um, yeah, she said, she'd got, I said, I bought one thing off and she said, um, if you come back round in a minute, I'll have some, um, some, um, some, some, um, I'll have some, I've got some, I've got some, I said, larger clothes. She was like, yeah, for, um, not that I'm saying you're, um, and not that I'm, but, um, but I've, yeah, I've got some, some, yeah, in, in the, in, I just, if you want, I was like, all right, love, I'll come back in a bit. I don't want a large, I'm not, you know, I was, I put, it was, a, it was the whole kind of like, you know, her absolutely not knowing how to say, you're a big girl, do you want to have a look at me clothes? <laughs> I sometimes think people don't know, they don't know whether I know I'm fat. Okay. Um, I don't think I've missed anything in the chat. If anyone's popped in and I've missed you, hello. Um, so yeah, and then a large bikini. This is a size 38 double F, which is a large bikini. And it's a Boo Avenue, which is quite nice. And this was a quid as well. Uh, bottoms are a 16. So you want quite a top heavy lady, I would have thought. 38 double F and a 16. But well, 16 is fairly curvy, isn't it? Good morning, Steve Brano. <coughs> Yeah, it's, 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 only, it's a cheap Amazon one, Steve. It cost me almost nothing because I'm tight, but I can find a link and let you know if you want. Josh says, is that a leopard print ear warmer? I look rather like one of those, like a pantomime dame with the big hairdo, don't I? Hmm. I think I must have knocked my webcam as well because I seem to be, no, I don't know. Uh, second hand bikini yes they do Kirsten really really well surprising but yeah there's the thumbnail says Andrew 
<coughs> Peter said I uh, went to the local carpet went around the first time and I got two items and my eye kicked in on the second way around the third one. Oh, looking forward to seeing what you've got then, Peter. I got one so far. There's more to come. This was a pound. I bought this. Uh, well, yeah, it was a pound. Uh, there's a lovely lady at the car We had a joke one day last summer about wishing she'd put her sun cream on. And now every time I see her, she says, I haven't got my sun cream on yet again, despite the, regardless of the weather. I mean, the other week it was pissing down. She was like, I haven't got my sun cream. And I was like, I think you'll be all right. So this is East and it was a pound. And she also had this East dress for two pounds. Oh, Chris is selling at the car boot. I hope you make a million pounds, Chris, or possibly two million. So, yeah, this is East as well, and this was two pounds, and this is linen, so that's a nice summer pickup, I think, a linen dress from East. It's not a Noki from East, but, you know, it's still East. Yeah, linen and lining 100% cotton, so nice natural fabrics there for summer. <sighs> Millie says, I'm selling today. Good luck. And Cease has already spent £78 oh, on, a, on a camera. Oh, dear. Bromley says, I get the look and have you tried that on, dear, whenever I buy anything. So when I bought the dress, the lady was like, it's a 16. I was like, sorry, it's not for me. <laughs> I don't know if I've missed anyone. Hello if I've missed you. OK, there's another mug. That's two so far. I paid, what did I pay for you? I paid a pound, I paid a pound for her. She's an m and rag doll and I have sold these in the past very happily at around about the 12 99 mark. I haven't checked this one out specifically. So before you rush out and buy yourself six of them, have a look in case I've made, in case I've bought a dud, but I've done okay with them in the past. And this is definitely a win. This was a pound and this is the next My Best Friend Bunny Rabbit and they go for 14 99 to 16 99 So. He has spotty ears. There's one with, can you see the spots? There's one with floral ears and they go better. Things you know, the things you know. Lex says, I'm giving up YouTube by £78 webcam for YouTube. That, that's Steve, that's definitely Steve. <laughs> Maasai Clothing Company, top for a pound. It's one of those kind of drapey, I should probably put boho peasant lagen look in the flipping, in the keywords, or possibly just Lex. Apparently, apparently, if you want your item to sell, you just put the word Lex in the keywords, and that's what does it, allegedly. So it's got a kind of a crisscrossy, <coughs> there we go, I think I've done it now, crisscrossy front thing, very drapey. Maasai for a quid, can't go wrong there. <laughs> There's no way Steve's going to shave the beard. I wonder if I could get Mrs. Steve to shave the beard. We all know Mrs. Steve is Team Carla. She doesn't actually need to shave it, does she? What she needs to do is get one of the kids to like get a lollipop stuck in it or something like that. Or chewing gum. Get one of the kids to put chewing gum in his beard. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and here are the other two mugs. So set four for a quid. And you might look at these and go, why the fuck? Is this daft fat bird with the snotty nose buying four black mugs? These are MS stoneware and they are surprisingly popular. <coughs> MS stoneware mugs, I seem to be able to get $16.99 for a set of four, usually quite happily. So, sorry, here I go again. <coughs> it's all Lex's fault. <sighs> All Lex's fault. Yes, it does, Andrew. You get free lurgy with every set of four mugs. Good morning, Georgina. Steve says he has no chin. You can have some of mine, mate. I've got loads. Let me know. I'll box you some up. Plenty of spare chin here. These are for us. These were a pound each. Aussie um, Miracle Moist Conditioner. My hair is crisp. My hair has been dyed and messed about with and been in the sun and now it's literally, it's frazzled. So I thought I'd uh, stick some Miracle Moist on it and see if that helps. Oh, Mandy says Steve should shave his beard off live for Super Chats and then donate to your favourite cause. You should do it live. However, <coughs> if you want to do it for charity, 
<coughs> I'm so sorry. Sleep well, Sue. Turn the sound off so I'm not waking you away at my coffin. Um, if you're going to do it for charity, don't do it through Super Chats because um, you should take a huge chunk of the Super Chat money. So you, you know, so if you want to do it for charity, then, you know, like um, like Nick and Tom did with the auction, you set up a Just Giving page and then as people donate on there. I know Just Giving take a bit too, but not as quite as much as um, YouTube take, I think. Andrew says, I'm surprised Lex didn't infect you with her plague as well, Josh. I'm surprised because Josh made it sound like we all slept together. <laughs> Josh put a comment on last week's video saying, um, thank you for spending the weekend with me. It was lovely. <coughs> <coughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Thank you for spending the weekend with me. It was lovely to get to know you and Lex better. I'm amazed I managed to get up this morning. I said, Josh, you made it sound like we all slept together. <laughs> and if we had, you would also have the lurgy that Jess, Lex has shared around. Oh. <sighs> it's going to be a short stream today. I'm going to run out of air. I'm going to run out of life. This is Barbara Hulinicki. And when I picked it up, I was like, oh, I think Barbara Hulinicki is quite a nice brand. And then when I had a quick look online, I discovered that it's Barbara Hulinicki for Georgia Asda. So not um, not very exciting after all. But it's quite nice if you like that kind of thing. It's a kind of a a loose weave crochet front with a with a with a with a fucking other side. And what's it got? With a button back with an other side. <sighs> Steve says, has anybody got Nat's number in case I actually die? Nat's ill as well. Nat's probably dying somewhere. Nat's out of mind, but she'd probably die as well. Ant's downstairs. I'm sure if I actually crash to the ground, he'll come up and see if I'm okay. Sure-ish. Not quite sure, actually. He might not. <laughs> oh, God. Has anybody ever actually coughed up a lung live on air or anything? People watch those pimple popping things and stuff like that. I reckon if I coughed up a lung, that video would go viral. <coughs> this might be viral. Uh. Andrew says, who had Carla in the dead pool? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I haven't got any air in my lungs for laughing. <laughs> uh. Uh. Last two items. 20p for a Jules hand cream. I've said to you guys before, I just bundle these up into fours or fives and sell them for 12, 15 quid. Maddie says, don't worry, it'll only last weeks. Great. <laughs> Four or five days already. <coughs> and the last item, this is probably today's win, actually. Clinique Happy Perfume. Uh, 100 mil? 50 mil? 50 mil. That's probably going to go for 20-ish quid, I hope. And I paid a pound for that. So that's probably actually my closest thing to a win today. Apart from the little white next bunny rabbit thing. Oh, God. Talk amongst yourselves. Ah. 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 Oh. If I just sat like this in the chair for the next half an hour... Would you all still remain tuned in watching me to see what happens next? Or would you all just fuck off and leave me here dying? <laughs> Lex says, I feel so bad I killed Carla. You did, Lex. You gave me your Welsh germs. My English body is not up to coping with your Welsh germs. Lex says, yes, she'd sit and watch me die as soon as Heather. <laughs> Steve said he's worried about the dogs eating me live on the internet. Dogs just eating my body. I'm going back to bed. I had big plans for this afternoon. I was going to do a load of listing, go to the office, get some photos done, pick up the weekend's orders, kind of get a head start on Monday. This is not happening, is it? I mean, who the fuck am I kidding? I can barely breathe. This doesn't help, actually. When you've got a cough... 
fizzy drinks are not what you should be pouring in. I don't know why our parents used to give us Lucozade when we were ill, because fizzy drinks don't help. They bugger up your saliva production and make you cough more and all the rest of it. They don't actually soothe your throat in any way. Yeah, Heather says you need some Lemsip and bed. I'm going to go to bed. I was going to watch Golden Girls, but nah, technical, technical help from the chat. The Golden Girls that I bought, I went out and fetched because me and Lex really wanted to watch them. Ow, 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 sorry, old stiff legs. Bear with it, talk with yourselves. I tried to watch this the other night on my DVD in the bedroom and it wouldn't play. And when I looked on the back, it says they're not they're only on one of them. <coughs> Uh, series one I tried, funnily enough, because that's, that's how I roll. <laughs> Steve says, Darren, where's Darren? God, he needs tech help. It's Darren's birthday. I can't very well get free tech help off Darren on his birthday. But one of you guys might know this. It wouldn't play because it says NTSC, which is region one. I don't know why NTSC. I don't know what NTSC stands for, but it's region one. All right. I've got series four. I've got series one, two, three, and four, and only series four is region two. So I can't play any of these three on my DVD player, right? So I had a look, and Argos have a multi-region DVD player. Yeah, I, I can't find it in my settings, Heather. I looked, and I cannot find it. So um, I had a look, and Argos have um, a multi-region DVD player, and it's not very much money. And is it that simple? Do I just go and buy a multi-region DVD player and plug that in instead? Because this one isn't even mine, it's Nat's, so she can have it back. And is it, what I want to know is, is it literally just that simple? <clears throat> my laptop screen is tiny and uh, uncomfortable to balance on my lap. And I don't want to play them on the computer because I don't want to sit in the chair here and watch them. I want to be comfortable in my bed and watch them from my sick bed, you see. So, um, so if I just get an ordinary, is it as simple as go and buy a multi-region DVD player and that will do the trick? Is it like, is it just that simple? Does anybody know? Heather says she thinks it would work. Steve says, I didn't realise Andrew actually cooked on Cooking with Andrew. I'll have to watch now if there's a chance he'll pull himself on the internet. I wouldn't say what Andrew does is cooking. He... In, in, for the bits I've watched, he reheats and um, scorches slightly and possibly toasts. I wouldn't I wouldn't class it as cooking and I don't think he'd get a job in a restaurant with those skills. OK. Um, and Mandy's saying, or cast from your laptop to TV. Now, it is a smart TV and I can cast, while I'm watching YouTube from my phone, I can cast that to the TV. So does that mean I could cast from my laptop to the TV? Is that a, is that a simple thing? Good morning, silly Dorset Dame, who says good morning one and all from Murky Dismal Dorset. It's a bit murky and dismal here today as well. And Bad Biscuits, just, Lexa just says something very complicated that I don't understand about lines and refresh rates. And Heather says, oh yeah, PR plug laptop to TV if is isn't cat. I don't understand how to do these things. I You have to understand that I'm a Luddite. A total Luddite. So will my, will my laptop definitely have the ability to cast? I only managed to cast from my phone to the TV once by mistake. <coughs> I was happy I'd done it, but I didn't know how I'd done it. Okay, because if it will do that, then I'll try it. Because I don't want to sit in bed and balance my laptop on my lap, because that's boring and, and crappy. Yeah, Lex has definitely need tech support, Darren. I'm slightly annoyed. It's, not, it's probably not. The lady was very nice who sold them to me, but she didn't say, by the way, they don't work here. Maybe she had a multi-region DVD player, so they did work for her, and that was why she didn't feel the urge to say that to me. Jason says, I can cast from laptop to smart TV. Maybe I will try that then. Maybe I'll give that a go, because that's what I want to do. I want to go to bed feel sorry for myself and watch golden girls good morning heather heather you've missed my death although there might be another mini death or not another petit mal along shortly <sighs> bonjour je suis français j'avais le petit mal um j'avais la, la horrible head cold 
that Orville called Avec, Sir, not Avec, Sir La Bonce. Ce n'est pas français. C'est bullshit. <coughs> Manny says, just send them all to me so I can watch them all. <laughs> Oh, petty more, that's it. No, petty, a petty mal is a petty, a little sickness. I also have on petty more, a little death, which is in that French word for orgasm. Am I right? Mal à la tête, mal à la tête. See, the French, the French talk in the chat is fantastic. Je suis dying of head cold. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not having an orgasm. That's, that's not happening. This is not my orgasm face. This is my orgasm face. Now you know. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Tête de merde. <laughs> Shithead. Merci beaucoup. Je vais louche pour tête de merde. Mon tête, c'est très merde. Okay, the fringe that's coming out in the chat now is fantastic. She says, La ticket de bus. And this is La 999. <laughs> La neuf, neuf, neuf. <coughs> I don't think it is 999 in France, is it? Uh, I should have come on with, with a mask to keep you off from getting my germs. And a good job. You, it's a good job. It's not interactive, whatever, isn't it? No, Lex, ce n'est pas un bon dans l'autobus. Keanu Reeves, ce n'est pas here. Ici. Keanu Reeves, ce n'est pas ici. N'est-ce pas? I can never remember whether the verb, where else to go, well, I don't know. Anyway, we haven't got Keanu Reeves, so we can't have a bon on the bus. I can't do it. I'm not well enough to be Keanu today. We say murky buckets as well, yeah. Oh, so. Does anybody have anything they want to fill in the rest of the live stream with while I have a nap. Any thoughts? Anything exciting going on? Buddy's asleep on the bed. You snoring, mate? Buddy. Buddy. There he is. There he is. Hello, I wonder on the internet. Come on then. Hello, darling. You're right. Hey, Kiki. Kiki's come up as well. Hello, Kai. There's a spoobble. Just spoof on live on the internet. Yeah, you was on the web. Don't let me or get cold. I can't deal with you sneezing all over the place. Can you imagine how grim that'll be? You right? Yeah, can we get that down? Are you ready? It's, it's, there's a look, thank you. Beautiful clean chin, well done. Hey, yeah, he's gone. Ugh. Bleah. No, it's not Buddy who eats the sofas. Buddy is an angel dog when it comes to eating um, furniture. It is Molly who consumes furniture like it's calorie free and she's on Slimming World. <coughs> Josh says everyone should go and watch my so I'm just washing buddy slob off my chin. Um <coughs> Josh says <laughs> Steve says Donald Trump discuss. Oh please don't. <laughs> Josh says everyone should go and watch my cooking video in preparation for Andrews. This is a good point. If you are not yet subscribed to Josh, which is JD Network reselling in the chat, click on the three little dots next to his name, go and find his channel, hit the subscribe button. Excuse me. Watch his Pardon me, I've got I've drunk too much fizz now. Watch his how to make mac and cheese video because Andrew, when his whisk arrives, is going to try to follow Josh's tutorial and learn how to cook, learn how to actually make actual food rather than just microwave meals. So um yeah. So go go and subscribe, and then hopefully, if, if I would like to see you guys make this a series, I really would. I'd like to see, I would like to see you gradually teach Andrew to cook. I think that would be really actually interesting to watch and see if, and in all seriousness, Andrew, it would be interesting to see if you could manage it. <coughs> Heather says cooking. It's all about baking. Give me cake. Josh, I'm sure Josh can also do cakes. Rebecca says Doodle the hamster gave birth on Friday to four pups. Are hamster babies called pups? I did not know that. Her first Lex and Archie are huge six weeks tomorrow. How quickly do hamsters get up the duff again then? There's no recovery period in between? Must admit, hamsters not my um not my field of expertise. Carissa says crackers on cheese was a classic. Well that's a twist on cheese on crackers. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
<coughs> Steve says microchips are the future. Oh dear. <laughs> I bet if I. But yeah, so I, I really would like you to make it a series. I'd like to see Andrew actually learn to drive. Learn to drive? Learn to cook. Josh, don't, please don't teach Andrew to drive through a series of YouTube videos. Please don't do that. People will die. <laughs> Andrea says we should do reseller come down with me. And I absolutely agree that we should. Yeah, that would be fantastic. And man, Andrew says he's got a freezer drawer full of microchips. It just takes them out of people's computers and stores them in his freezer. I may be getting silly now. It's possible that I've reached the point of illness where I'm just going to be silly. <coughs> Heather's off. Bye, Heather. Hi, Andy. There are 66 people watching me cough and splutter live on air. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, six people apparently enjoy watching me die slowly on the internet. So so thanks to those of you who give me a thumbs up for my um, for my imminent death. Hi, Debs. Oh, dear. See, I think my plan is to um, tidy this stuff away, because if I don't, then I've got to sit and stare at it. Um, Andrew says, lick the like button. Bexify says, why is avocado so good? I don't like it. Tried it, don't like it. Steve says, he'll be Andrew's date on when we sell a come down with me, microwave special. Bond wins off. Hope you feel better soon. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Bex, you got, uh, Lex, you're going as well? Or are you saying goodbye to other people? I don't know why that was hidden, Gemma. I don't know why that came up as well for review. Amanda says, I'll do dine with me. I'll take you all for a Toby Brekkie. That seems reasonable. <laughs> Kristen says, now I don't know whether to thumbs up or not. If you've enjoyed watching me die, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> I'll know who you all are. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, little else is getting to bed with a hot water bottle. I need to find it first. I hid it from Molly because she chews everything. She's hopefully growing out of that. Hopefully. So, yeah tidying up so that I haven't got to sit and stare at it because of course the bed being there if I don't tidy up it's all here looking at me tidy up find the laptop literally find the laptop don't know where the laptop is laptop might be the office mm. um okay try and find the laptop <coughs> also also tech help Obviously, I have Amazon Prime, and I want to watch <coughs> Good Omens. If I can cast to the PC, if I can cast to the telly from the laptop, does that mean I can watch Good Omens and watch it through my telly? <coughs> it is ridiculous. Deb says you should see my table. Yeah, it's covered in clothes. My dining table. Nobody can dine downstairs at the moment. <sighs> Andrew says avocado has more fat in it than a cheeseburger. It could be right, Bex White. It's, it's a very high fat sort of... I don't know if it's... There's Anthony lurking past there. Oh, oh God. I'm going to go and take some active head, which I avoid taking if I can help it because it dries my mouth out. But it dries everything else out as well, and that's what I need at the moment. Yes, your TV is smart TV. You can watch Amazon Prime on it. What, just by casting? Because I can't seem to watch it the ordinary way. I'm very puzzled by, by modern technology. I think I'm, I, I hark back to the old days of BBC One, BBC Two, ITV and Channel Four. Andrew says, have you not got the Amazon Prime app on your TV? I don't know. I don't think so. <coughs> <coughs> Will I know? Will I look? If I look, I should see it. How do I get apps onto my TV if they're not there? Can I add apps? don't understand i need an in-house technician who just comes and goes look you press that and you do this and there you go that's what i need i suppose some of you have them in their core husbands or something aren't they or maybe wives i don't know christmas says i can't do technology either thankfully i have kids my kids are not massively techie either google it, it will be on the google store to download Okay, I will try, Jason. I will try. I probably can't do it, but I will try. Yeah. <coughs> okay. I've got boring. I can hear myself. I'm boring me now, let alone you lot. So I've shown you my haul. Um, 
I haven't got any broom cupboard stuff. Nobody sent me anything for the broom cupboard for a couple of weeks. So um, I have got a smart TV, Jonah. Just don't understand how it works. Um, <coughs> okay, so I can Google it for my TV. Oh, God. It's going to be very, very complicated, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, nobody sent me anything for, for the broom cupboard for a couple of weeks. So I've got nothing to, nothing to share with you broom cupboard wise. But Gordon's here ready and waiting for when stuff... When stuff arrives, Gordon is ready to to laugh. Ha 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 ha. Found Gordon a girlfriend, but I've lost. Hang on, look. Look, Gordon. She's for sale, actually. So I don't know how Gordon's going to feel when she goes. Gordon, that's that's not an appropriate place to grab her, by love. Get your hair out your mouth. What do you think, Gordon? Is she pretty? I don't think she does. No, he, he says you look like a train wreck. There's a reason I'm not on children's telly, and I think we've just established what it is. Plainly, need to go and have a lie down. Steve says he'll send me a picture for next week. Thank you, Steve. I'd rather it wasn't a massive Team Steve canvas this time. Um, an actual picture would be lovely. Um, people are still talking about avocado. Jason's still trying to help me. Bless you, Jason. Je Jason says my TV will have an app menu. And Joan says go to menu, open Smart Hub, and you'll find out. I will do that thing. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I will go and learn how to work my telly. Hi, Lainey. I'm sorry. I'm just going, love. I'm, as you can tell, I'm not very well, and I'm just off. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm sorry I've been full of snot and cough and generally unwell. I'm glad none of you can catch it through the screen. It's all Lex Oliver's fault. Prime videos and thank you, thank you, Andrew. <coughs> <coughs> it's not as bad as it sounds. <coughs> if it was as bad as it sounds, I'd be dead. <coughs> It's almost as bad as it sounds. I'm going. <coughs> Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic Sunday. Talk to you all soon. Bye. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs>